It's been a while since Antorus released. The question is, how are rogues doing? Everybody loves subtlety. People still enjoy assassination. But what about outlaw? Is outlaw rogue a meme? I have crippling depression. Oh no. Blizzard, what happened? Do you not love rogues anymore? Well, it's official, guys. Rogues are actually t terrible. But let's see how Outlaw Rogue is doing currently. Well, okay, that's just one example, but how are Rogue's doing overall in Antorus? This is as bad as it looks. I was not aware of Outlaw Rogue's and how they were viewed by your average audience. What I mean is, people that play Outlaw, they know how Outlaw Rogue plays, or people that know others that play Outlaw, they understand the spec can put out good numbers, they are understanding of the small complexities of the specialization regarding the buff mechanic, there are plenty amount of people that understand Outlaw, and they don't see it as some, some, some mess of a class, but those are not your average players. Your average player actually sees the spec rolling dice and calls it RNG. Majority of your average players don't really know many other classes in depth besides the one that they play. So you really do get a few belligerent people once in a while really shutting down your experience like, Hey, I want to do Mythic Plus. You're an outlaw? Outski. But don't let it ruin your experience overall as a player. I get a lot of people ask me if Rogue is worth playing this late in Legion. This video is yet another one of those videos, but in regards to the new content that we got in 735, on Taurus and some of the Myth Plus changes. Is Rogue worth playing? Yes. It's a specialization that offers three different unique playstyles that have their own skill caps and gearing process. It is a ton of fun, versatile, and very, very, very elusive. Rogues, in some cases, can ignore mechanics to do more damage or take hits where other classes would otherwise die without an immunity. The damage is mostly consistent, and the numbers we can pull make me so giddy every time I get a crit. You don't need to limit yourself just to one specialization though. The best specialization. I get tired of people asking me, what's the best spec of Rogue to play Dalaran? Because I can't tell if they're asking me a serious question where if they're truly interested in my answer or if it's just another question to reaffirm what they already think. It's a complicated question. In my opinion, the best spec is the one you enjoy playing. On technicalities, you can separate all specs of Rogue. Subtlety has the strongest burst damage, Assassination has damage over time, and Outlaw has the shortest cooldowns, or can have. Subtlety plays really well with various trinkets, Assassination has the best consistent energy regeneration, but Outlaw can sweep between targets, single target and AoE, without changing your talents or gear, kinda like a Swiss army knife. But I think the best spec is the one you are honestly willing to invest time into. There are many factors that can affect your damage from gear to legendaries to experience to how much you practice. For example, if I decided to pick up subtlety right now and reform to subtlety since everyone says it is the best spec currently, then I have to learn the rotation. I look up the opener guide, I look up the rotation guide and general theory of subtlety. I go to change my trinkets and enchants with most of versatility gear to just add a little bit more mastery where I can get it. I bust out whatever legos I have for subtlety. Does that mean I'm going to all of a sudden do more damage and be a better player? Am I suddenly going to become a better player just because I picked a spec that everybody keeps putting on a pedestal? Even if I get better gear for subtlety, even if it's best in slot, leg is a drop for me for subtlety. Even if I practice more rotation until 4 in the morning for subtlety, nothing is going to be more efficient, more valuable for me, for me, than an Outlaw Rogue. I am an Outlaw Rogue player. I like the RNG buffs too much. I like the cooldown reduction mechanics for Outlaw. I love getting big 6 million crits with my range stuns in raids. I love having short cooldowns that get shorter the better I am at playing my spec. It's a lot easier to play what you enjoy rather than what everyone tells you to play. Is Outlaw a bad spec in its own? No, not in the slightest. It might not be the best at everything, but 
what fun would there be if I played a spec that was literally better than all other specializations in the game? I pay 15 bucks a month for the sub. I might as well play what I have more fun with, no matter how hard it gets, no matter how many groups judge me before seeing what I can do and how much damage I can pull, allowing stereotypes to prejudge me. Outlaw isn't a bad spec, but it's definitely a meme spec, if anything. Pirate spec with RNG mechanic, but it has more depth than most people perceive on its surface. So, in final words, which rogue spec should you play? Honestly, whichever one totally you the most. Because otherwise, I don't think there's really a point of playing in the first place if you're playing something that's just simply not fun and enjoyable.